going on guys welcome back we got a special treat for you today we got our hands on one of the access codes for the public test server so we've got secret on our hands right now so we're gonna hop into this glacier multi mode hopefully we'll be able to snag her and get some gameplay in and give you my first impressions and see how she's gonna play out here in the future so let's go ahead and hop right into it all right guys we've got secret here let's uh let's see if she's got do the SMG and I want to check out her adrenaline shot. So I couldn't for the life of me get into a get into a match on the new map. I don't know what's up with the queues, but I waited for like 30 minutes and I got nothing. So this is what we get. But we got Seagrid, so we'll see what she's like. That thing lasts like, dude, 20 seconds. That's insane. Hey man, so far so good. He's, that shield's pretty nasty. See how see how big the speed boost is here. Out. Eh. Not insane. It's okay. Oh, dude, you can shield bash. That's freaking sick. Yeah, dude, that lasts a long time. That's sick. Looks like they added a, like a brief period of uh, invulnerability too. You can't spawn trap people as bad. Kind of nice. <laughs> Dude, that's freaking hilarious. We've destroyed the enemy force. Nice work. All right. Well, so first impression is she's pretty ridiculous. All right, so let's do... She's got tracker rounds. That's sick. Uh, let's upgrade her stim. So you get bonus movement speed lasts longer, and you carry an additional. That's sick. Upgrade that. So my last video, we talked about her weapons. So she's got Chox SMG and uh, Vi's shotgun. And her pistol is the Warrant. So that's Fixer's pistol. Which, in my opinion, is probably the best pistol in the entire game. It shoots so freaking fast. <laughs> Dude, that shield bash is so funny. I don't know if you guys heard that, but when the shield is about to run out, it gets super loud. The loud effect. That's a pretty. That's almost like Lancer's. Uh, Lancer's ability. It makes her run really fast. Dude, ridiculous. That is so good for team pushes.
Keep on coming. Oh my gosh. Yeah, dude, SMG's gnarly. Yup, she's nasty. You get ready to sit on the sideline, Anvil, because you straight up got replaced. Just one more round. So, revive teammates significantly faster, start the rehealing. So, lifeline, Dahlia has lifeline. That could be a good one. Um, maybe tenacity, because I'm sure people are going to spam grenades at her. What I'm curious about is, like in Call of Duty, when you stick somebody with a Semtex and they have a riot shield, it kills them. So I wonder if it's the same kind of thing here. If you hit someone with a, or hit her with a Semtex, if it's going to do anything, or if it's just going to mitigate all the damage. Dude, she pops that crap right in her neck. What a savage. Buddy. Dude. He is crazy. Dude, that stim is awesome. Let me bash you. Come here. <laughs> dude, that's so freaking funny. Yeah, dude, she's crazy. I'm really interested to see how she plays out in demolition. But she, yeah, she's a monster in strikeout. She's a lot of fun. All right, so my first impressions, um, dude, I think a deserter penalty. What the freak are you talking about? Oh, that's great. All right, so I just got a fake deserter penalty, so that's great. Um, dude, my okay. So my first impressions here. Let's let's look at her real quick. Her SMG's awesome. I've always liked Chalk's SMG. I'm not sure how the how the shotgun's gonna play out. I haven't really used this one very much. Some people may like it, but I just don't really like the shotguns. But her SMG's gnarly. Adrenaline shot, super cool, I and mean, then it works just like a stim from Call of Duty, so I like that a lot. And you can get two of them, so that's pretty sweet. I like that. The movement speed boost makes it feel like you're running as Lancer. So it, <laughs> she's like a tanky version of Lancer. That's pretty ridiculous. Her ability, gosh, I wonder if it says, it doesn't say how long it lasts. That seemed like it lasted maybe 20 seconds to me. It was a pretty good amount of time. And what I noticed is when you crouch and you're behind the shield, you're pretty much invulnerable. Nobody can shoot you. But when you peek, um, it reveals your head and like your hand is what it looked like. So if you're going up against her, just kind of wait for her to, to peek with her with her pistol and just doink her in the head. It's probably going to be the only way really to, to uh, counter that other than maybe throwing like a really well-placed grenade or Semtex right next to her. But she does have tenacity too. So that's going to make things pretty difficult because she'll take less damage from explosives. So she's pretty ridiculous. Um, I'm not, I mean, track rounds is always good. I'm not really sure how well Lifeline is going to play out with her because she doesn't have a healing ability. You have to be right up next to somebody, but you do revive people quicker. So I guess that's good. But for a $10,000 perk, I'm not really sure. Evade was kind of nice. You know, getting shot at or being damaged moves you faster. Um, and then just like nimble hands is pretty pretty standard shredder rounds. But yeah, the adrenaline shot, super cool. The D40C, super good. Her ability was awesome. I think that she is going to be really, really annoying in game modes like demolition and, and extraction. But I think she'll be really good. So I don't know. We'll see. Oh, and her, her, so her passive, I guess I didn't really notice this. I wasn't paying attention. But you're immune to slowing effect, effects and you move faster when you're crouched. So that's really good. Immune to slowing effects. I wonder if they changed that because before I thought it was 
immune to slowing effects and uh like like tear gas and stuff like that i thought i thought that it was different so maybe they changed that to make it a little less overpowered not sure but anyway i'm curious to see how she plays out in the future i think she's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to shake things up a lot but yeah that's it those are my first impressions i hope you guys enjoyed We'll see whenever this comes out. We'll, you know, we'll do an in-depth character guide and play some demolition with her and see how exactly she plays out in that type of game mode. But if you guys like the video, don't forget to like the video. Subscribe if you want some more content. And I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.